All right, you soggy scraps of sour pork, it's time for one of my lovely reaction videos, which we get to do when some free content is on the internet, which is basically what new gameplay footage is for something that hasn't come out yet. I look at that, and through my cynical eye, I say to myself, right, well, that's an easy video, isn't it? That's how, that's how trailer reaction videos and other reaction videos work. You just look at other people's hard work and say to yourself, right, I'll just talk over that and call it a day. That's that's literally how it works. So anyway, this is Marvel's The Avengers, the Square Enix published game that is not based on the movies because they all look different, but they don't look different enough, so it all looks weird. And, and that's I've said I've talked about this in other places. I'll talk about it here. It's strange in that visually, aesthetically. They follow the beat of the movies quite closely in terms of overall costume design and, and even down to the colour palettes. They look so based on the Marvel's Avenger movies without actually being the Marvel Avengers movies that I find it just a little bit jarring. And I don't necessarily find that with something like Marvel Ultimate Avengers 3 because that was visually its own thing. And I feel like this game should be more stylish in order to... Uh, differentiate itself from the films but maybe they are going for something that apes the films but not all the way and they might be doing that on purpose but I just find that myself a little bit strange it's a little bit uncanny to me not like the x-men uncanny just regular type uncanny anyway this is the combat going on um, I saw a comment on the, uh, the the PlayStation video of this that said that they could do with the sound feeling more impactful. And I definitely picked that up with Thor's hammer. It's it's like this little bonk, like he's hitting like something with a frying pan. Doesn't necessarily sound like a giant fuck-off hammer smashing into people. Um, not, not... If anything... Hearing the punches and the kicks, that actually sounds more devastating than the hammer. Um, but yeah, so far, very straightforward, standard uh, third-person action combat. Not terrible by any means. Um, I do like all the visual effects. I like the way the cape is flowing. That's nice. And a lot of detail in the, in the environment, like lots of little upturned stones and rubble there. To bus being shot. I don't know what you want from me in that case. It looks like it'll be quite fun, doesn't it? I've got my um, I've got my fears about the game. I mean, I've I've got what I consider healthy fears about any AAA published game these days. I know that at E3 they got some really easy, cheap applause for saying there won't be loot boxes in it, which to me is bottom of the barrel crowd pleasing. You shouldn't have to get praise for not putting gambling mechanics in your game, but whatever. But when they talk about supporting the game for years to come, and again, I've said this elsewhere, but I'll, I'll reinforce it here. Um, they talk about supporting the game for years to come. I've heard that line so many times. I'll believe it when I see it. And it just makes me think it's going to jump aboard the whole live service gravy train. Nevertheless, this already looks like it's got more content in it, or, or certainly a more finished combat system in it than a lot of these games that were promised to be supported for years on end. They usually take the whole years long support as an excuse to skimp on well pretty much everything else. And here I'm actually seeing, you know, some very polished visuals, what looks to be a fairly meaty combat system. And there's Iron Man and I know him from comics. I know Thor from comics as well. I know the characters from comics. And that'll be interesting as a as a, uh, a gameplay structure. The idea of a fluid swap between characters throughout a level. Like, I'm assuming that's what that was. You know, you play as Thor and then it transitions from cutscene to gameplay quite seamlessly from the looks of it, quite nicely, uh, into Iron Man where you just add to the massive amounts of property damage on the bridge. Which is always a, a, a staple of any good superhero fighting, isn't it? It's to just do more damage than the villains are doing. So this looks fun. I'm assuming the, um, the flight here is automatic. And you're moving him around. 
and that's fine by me. That that was a nice little sequence. That looked like that quite could quite be fun. Again, talking about games that uh, were promised support for years and years and years. Um, it looked a, a lot more action packed than the flying in Anthem, didn't it? In that it had some action, and that you could use the term "packed" instead of about a quarter of a way full. That's how I imagine Anthem, by the way. It's like a, an old sock. A quarter of the way full of rice pudding. That's the analogy I've decided to draw. Anyway, we're not here to bash on Anthem, even though I could always go for a bit of that. We're here to talk about Iron Man, who I know from comics, shooting up trucks and guns and things like that. So it certainly looks like they've done what I consider a fairly important task of making each uh, superhero feel different to play. Um, because, of course, the way Iron Man fights is very different from the way Thor fights. And so it's important to have, like, emphasise the lasers and the floating about the place a bit over Thor punching and smashing things with a hammer. Although, you know, you look at a character like, um, you know, the incredible... The, uh, the blah, 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 blah. You look at a character like the Incredible Hulk... And he'll do. He'll probably be closer to Thor, but we'll find that out in a bit. Because there's Black Widow, who I recognise from comics, and this is Bruce Banner, who I know from comics. Heard of him before? Oh my God! I didn't know he did that. Wow! Bruce Banner and Hulk Hogan are the same character. That's amazing. So anyway, I was just talking about the Incredible Hulk. So already different because you can pick up a man. He picked up a man and did what he does with Loki in the in the live action comic book Marvel's The Avengers written by Buffy the Vampire Slayer's own Joss Whedon. So that's fun. Now Hulk has a distinction of being a, um, a superhero character with a beloved game. There was that uh, open world Hulk game that people loved. He just ran around smashing stuff up. So they've got to follow that up. What was the name of that? I only remember the, the, what was it, Ultimate Destruction, but I don't think that was the one. Although I did quite like that one. Whichever one it was that had the Enclave as the villains. Can't remember, it was years and years and years and years and years and years and years ago now. But again, quite different from uh, the Thor segment. Although obviously it's a, a different, um, different sequence entirely as you're jumping on a bridge that is now completely fucked. And I've got to say, Hulk ain't helping there. He's not aided that situation. A fun take on the idea of um, wall running and, and traversal. Uh, sort of environmental uh, traversal there. A bit of the old Nathan Drake, except big and beefy and green, which I'm fine with. What I like is they're showing in this uh, this gameplay demo a lot of different uh, types of gameplay and all of it looks uh, very cohesive like it all belongs in the same game and all of it looks quite good it all looks uh, fairly well rounded and polished off uh, when a game tries to do two, two uh, type, blah, 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 really tripping over my fucking fat tongue today when a game tries to do too many things at once um, it can often look a bit half baked like they got none of it really all that well because they tried to do too much it's amazing what a budget can do, I suppose. Um, but here, yeah, it all looks good and it doesn't look jarring like none of it belongs. Of course, one would have to fully play it oneself in order to get a, a better idea of things. But I quite like this. I know that um, the initial footage of Marvel's The Avengers was um, made to be an exclusive at um, Comic-Con. And people were like, oh, that doesn't sound like the game is going to be all that good. Uh, but really, that's just Comic-Con for you. They secure exclusives like nobody's business. It's part of the cost of doing business with them. Um, because that's entertainment now. You know, Disney owns everything. Except Spider-Man right now, because they had a falling out with Sony. Um, every major company is just securing whatever exclusive it can. You know, we see this in the games market on PC with Epic, of course. It's all... Uh, it's all a, a fiefdom. It's a fiefdom system, is entertainment now. But here, you see, this is part of my point. Like, that is not a one-to-one -one recreation of the Captain America um, 
movie costume. But they did take a lot of cues from it by sort of incorporating a, a more uh, practical army sort of look into it. Taking the wings off and just changing them to something flatter against the helmet. So again, it doesn't look exactly like Steve Rogers from the films. But it looks just enough like him. With just enough of the environment and the colour scheme and everything aping the movies. But him not looking exactly like Chris Evans is what makes this all weird. And if they'd have copped a more original visual style overall, then the differences between this Captain America and movie Captain America wouldn't look so strange to me, but it isn't so it does. Um, if you get what I mean, you know, I might just be rambling. Um, but I think I'm making a point here. But that's my entire career, is just thinking I'm making a point and hoping for the best. This looks cool. I like that. Punching the shield. Although, doesn't doesn't the shield absorb at impact? Or is that just the front of it? I don't know how it works. But I do know Captain America from comics. So, that's exciting. Oh yeah, you want to deal with the reactor, mate. I've played enough video games to know that if there's a reactor around... At least 80% of the time, that's the problem. Was that uh, Ms. Marvel, who I know from Are comics? You kidding me? She had a shirt w with it and looked um, looked fairly similar to the comic counterpart there. Because I know Ms. Marvel from comics. There's a big old truck. <laughs> In case you needed any guidance on that matter. Lasers can stop trucks. That's what I've learned. Oh, God. Oh, no. Taskmaster, who I know from comics. Taskmaster. Thanks, Black Widow, but I've already told him. I like Taskmaster, who I know from comics. Really cool gimmick for a, uh, a villain. The idea that you can... He looks at people fighting and then he knows how to fight like them. But he can't, like, really recreate superpowers. Just the fighting style. It's an interesting idea. Some of the comics play with the idea that he's so good at that, at sort of just looking and... I think there's a word for it when you can look at something and uh, then do it. But apparently he's so good at it that some of the comics play with the idea that he forgets everything else, like his daughter's name and stuff. He's good. I, and plus he's got a skull mask on. And I'm in favour of that. I'm all for that. I just... I like cool masks, as you, as many of you will know. That's it. Punch him in the back of the head, Black Widow, who I know from comics. So we've got some cut, uh, Q QTEs going on there, some quick time events, time button presses. Eh, I was over them a decade ago. I feel like that game on the 360, Ninja Blade, I feel like Ninja Blade used up QTEs for the entire industry. I don't think there should be any left after Ninja Blade came out. They don't look all that intrusive. And they've been in games that I've loved, you know. They're just not something I feel really adds anything to a game anymore. Um, you know, they were in the Insomniac Spider-Man. And it, here they look about the same thing, just... There's a bit of a cool fight sequence that we couldn't really make into gameplay. So just press some buttons so it feels like gameplay for a minute. So here we see Black Widow having a bit of a fight with Taskmaster. Here's some actual combat. She's got guns, like she does in the comics. And the films. Because I also know Black Widow from films. There's a twist. I know her from comics, but I know her from films as well, mate. It all looks very pretty. In fact, I'm impressed at just sort of how nice the, the visuals look. This is... This is, like, hardware exclusive goods. That's a new bracket I've added for um, certain video games. Where it looks like... It's a Sony published game, therefore they put the effort into it. Um, because, you know, they're, they're using them to attract people to the hardware, to the console. I know I specifically name checked Sony there. I guess Nintendo as well, even though, of course, the Switch is not as powerful. So it wouldn't look quite this good. And I exclude Microsoft because it seems sometimes they just don't give a fuck. I mean, they published bloody Crackdown 3, and that looked like it was a thousand years old. So it's not a 
But you know what I mean when I say it looks hardware exclusive good. I basically mean it looks about as good as the Spider-Man game. Or God of War. Or other Sony exclusives. I'm sorry, that's just a fact. They tend to look really good. And it tends to be par for the course for PS4 games. Again, just because, you know, Sony's clearly investing in uh, different things than certainly Microsoft, who... I need to do a video at some point, like, pointing out their, their role in live service garbage. They played a significant part in it. Alright, Taskmaster, throw some things around. At this point, throwing bombs on this bridge is over-egging the pudding. This bridge has had enough. In fact, if I were both of these people, I'd be getting off it. Safer to do all this in the bloody river. Do all this in the water. Who's doing that voice for Taskmaster? I've heard that voice many times. I can't remember the... I can't think of the voice actor now. Where's your investigation left you? I'm not going to remember now. You're not the brains behind it. They did show off at E3. They were very pleased with all of the voice actors they've talking. got for the main characters for the Avengers. They're all the ones you've heard of. Listen you know, up. Nolan North, etc. Uh, Troy Baker. You can't learn what you can't see. Well, it looks fun. Sorry, we're like over 16 minutes in now and I'm, uh, I've am i said everything I need to say, but we'll see it through to the end. It's just I've, I've just done so many minutes of straight talking without thinking about what I'm saying before the words dribble out of me gob that I've talked myself out. You think you've won? What the hell are you talking about? Look around, Romanoff. The world will remember this day. They will, because that bridge is fucked up. Just think about how much that'll cost to replace. I wouldn't even bother. Just tear it down. Make a new one. Call it New Bridge. Oh, Taskmaster wasn't talking about the bridge. He was talking about the big blue thing in the water. I'd, I think the bridge is enough. Oh, they played you like a damn fiddle. Oh no. Oh fuck. Bad things are happening. I can tell you that much. With with a with a degree of certainty, I can tell you that bad things have happened right there. Yeah, that fell down. Some say they were set up. Others call them murderers. This is just the uh Avengers pose a danger to society. That was setting the, the plot up here. That was the question. So people think the Avengers are bad ends. We all lost something that day. Etc. But that's not how this story ends. Nope. This was all a setup by uh, Overdrive, the popular Spider-Man villain who can drive any car. That's what I've decided. Overdrive's the main villain. Alright, well that was a video game. Did you like looking at the video game? Do you want to pre-order it for beta access? Because that's what you got to do these fucking days. Fuck Some off. Players. That looks alright, doesn't it? That looks quite good. I'll, I'll say that much. It does look quite good. And that's your, that's your superhero video game nonsense. Fun.